I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video I will share all about my July sewing plans so stay tuned. All right so I tried to stay reasonable, realistic in setting my goals for July or making my list of plans for July because uh, the weather is typically really really nice in July. I'm going to want to spend a lot of time outside. Uh, we spend our weekends at the summer house now and I have zero vacation days planned for the month of July. So not a whole lot of time sewing so I had to keep the list short and I don't know that I would say simple but um, realistic and reasonable. The first project on the list is something that I've been wanting to make for at least two summers now and that is a new bathing suit. Now where we swim or where I swim basically at the summer house is in a very very quick or fast river with a lot of rapids and current and everything so i need something that's gonna stay put <laughs> where there's no risk of any wardrobe malfunctions so my preference is some boy shorts or shorts and a tank I, up until now, to be per perfectly honest, I wore like board shorts and a tank, just a regular tank, but um, neither one was made out of swimwear fabric. So, you know, felt heavy in the water. It didn't dry very quickly. And like, it's time, it's time for me to have a handmade bathing suit. So I bought two patterns from five out of four patterns the first one is the sue shorts so that'll be the bottom of the bathing suit and the peggy tankini so i think i'm gonna feel secure and covered in that bathing suit it doesn't look overly complicated or difficult to make it'll be my first time uh, sewing with swimwear and the lining fabric and all of that good stuff so hopefully those patterns are simple enough that even you know a beginner could do something or end up with something wearable the fabric i'm going to use is this that i got from blackbird fabrics a couple of months ago i think i shared this during a friday sews video it's gorgeous i love it I have my lining fabric. I have everything I need. Now all that is left to do is make a muslin. I have some athletic knit that I'm gonna muslin this with. Um, and you know, fingers crossed, it's gonna fit with minimal adjustments. And before the end of July, I'll have a bathing suit for myself. So project number one, a new bathing suit. Project number two is a dress. So um, my mother celebrated a birthday recently and for a gift, my brother and sister and I got together and decided to treat her to a weekend with her kids. So part of the festivities will be a brunch on the Sunday in a nice restaurant. So I wanted to, or I want to make myself a new dress for the occasion. Now I made the Cashmerette Appleton dress quite a little while ago now like quite a few months ago as a muslin and it fit me pretty well right out of the packet based on their size calculator or what the results of the size calculator were the only thing is the waist um or where the ties are was a little high on me um like much higher than my actual waist is and I don't like anything tied at my waist I like it under a little bit under my waist so but that really is the only adjustment I need to make so basically just lower the waist a little bit on the pattern or where the ties get sewn in so once I've done that adjustment I will cut into this cerise with navy dots um, ITY that I got from Fabricville a long time ago i've been holding on to this for a long long time i love this color um yeah it's lightweight this fabric 
but um, I don't think it's going to need a lining. I think I should be fine just with light colored underwear should be all good. And with any luck, the Appleton dress by Cashmerette is going to end up being my TNT for a knit dress. Um, and I talked about needing a, a TNT for a dress in my uh, TNT video that I published maybe a week ago. So yes, I'm hoping this will be a very, very nice Appleton dress by Cashmerette. And um, yeah, that'll be what I wear for brunch for that weekend with my mom. Next is a t-shirt. So I mentioned again in that TNT video that I'm on um, the lookout for, or I'm searching for a TNT for a knit t-shirt. Well, I'm going to make the cashmere Concord tee out of a very inexpensive knit fabric from my stash. But if it works out and if I like it, I'm then going to make one in this beautiful emerald green jersey from Minerva.com. Uh, the color really doesn't like on camera. The color is nowhere near as gorgeous as it is in real life. This is a stunning emerald green. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping the Concord tee is going to work out and then I can make myself a ton of t-shirt. But first, this green jersey. And finally, um, the last project on the list is again something that I've been wanting to make myself and that is a matching set. So I want to make myself a pair of shorts and a tank that will go together and look like a um, romper almost, but then that I can also wear each piece separately. Now the fabric I'm gonna use is this gorgeous chambray fabric that I got in the Beyond the Pink Door subscription box in June. It's simply beautiful. And I think it'll be a very, I, I think it's perfect for a pair of shorts. And I think the tank, I'll make the Ashton top and that will also work well with that pattern. So Ashton top for the top. And I'm gonna try the Belize shorts by Itch to Stitch. Um, I've not made those shorts before and knowing all of the fit issues I typically have with bottoms in terms of the rise, um, not the rise being typically too long in the front, too short in the back and all that good stuff. I am going to muslin the shorts before I cut into this gorgeous fabric. Um, but a pair of shorts does not require a ton of fabric. And I think those should be pretty quick to put together. So yeah, so a muslin of the shorts and then cut into this gorgeous chambray and make myself a really cute matching set. So that's it. All in all, five pieces. I should be able to pull it off. And what I'm going to do to try and stay productive and maximize the sewing, basically, when I'm in the city, is I'm going to take that pile of fabric with me to the summer house for a weekend and just cut everything. So I'll wash it all. I'll make all the pattern adjustments I need to make and then take the pile to the island with me cut everything over a weekend and then all that will be left to do is so 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 and hopefully get everything done in July. All right, any I would love to hear if any of you have recommendations in terms of tips and tricks for sewing with swimwear fabric. Like I said, it'll be my first time sewing it. I do have a serger um I know that I need to use like a ballpoint needle on my sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch and all that, but are there any other pearls of wisdom that you can share if you have experience sewing bathing suit or swimwear fabric? I would love to hear, please, in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, please leave me a like if you like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.